Hi, um, I'm back again to make another video. Um, I just got back from the store and I got some makeup. Um, I wanted to share with you and try out like different makeup um, techniques. Sorry, the lighting is weird. Like the sun is going down and so it's kind of like there's shadow and I'm trying to find a good place to do um, makeup but I'm having trouble finding like good lighting. Um, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I know it's like shadow on this part of my face, but maybe you can see it on this side better. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna start off with, um, I like to use the Mari Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. It's really refreshing. And I'm going to put on sunscreen. This is a Neutrogena Clear Face one. Um, I'm not exactly sure like the best sunscreens to use because there's so many choices. But I'm just, I just picked this one because it was for the one um, so you don't get breakouts. So that's the one that I chose. Then I'm going to, I got a primer. This is the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 hour pore minimizer. It has AHA, LHA, BHA complex. It blurs pores and skin looks smoother over time. So I heard this was a good one and um, it just is more moisturizing. So I'm curious what it looks like up close. I don't think I need to use a lot of it. My face is getting red because I don't think it's a reaction to the, hopefully it's not a reaction, but it's just because I'm putting something on my face. But, um, then I I still like the Revlon Illuminant Skin Caring Foundation with Squalane and Hyaluronic Acid. Looks like that. So just gonna dot it around my face and then blend it in. the foundation brush I have like my brushes are pretty old but they are really good I think like they've lasted a long time this one is the Sigma F80 brush it's a flat top kabuki these used to be popular on YouTube, like about 10 years ago or so. <laughs> That's when I started to get into makeup, I think it was um, in the late 2000s. Because I was watching YouTube videos. So... I learned how to do makeup and things by watching the videos. And, um, yeah. And then I got the 
Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It comes in this kind of container. I think it's going to be a little more messy than um, just like using the compacts that I normally do. Um, but I feel like I needed to get a new one. So I'm just going to put my brush in there. I got a lot on my brush. But I don't know what it's going to look like. <laughs> I heard this was a good one. I'm following, um, I just saw a video by Kelly Strack, and I'll link it in the description if you're interested. Um, she recommended, she was recommending drugstore makeup that she recommends, um, for, like, people starting out. And, um, like, her favorite makeup. And I don't want to, I don't want to buy like from Sephora or anything that anymore. I just want to buy from more inexpensive kind of places. So that's that done. And then, um, I got a bronzer. <laughs> And I don't know if, um, I have no idea if this will look good on me. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Ticket to Brazil. And it looked like it might be a good shade for me. I don't know. Looks a bit orange. Um, so I'm going to just try it out. So one that Kelly got was more darker. So I'm just going to put it on my cheeks, just kind of bronze up my skin. I don't know if bronzer looks good on me because I'm so pale and I don't want it to be like just my cheeks look bronzed and not the rest of my body. Um, I'm just gonna put it there. And next, I got this. I got Coral Cove again. So I needed a new one because the other one was probably expired. But it looks like this. It's a pretty coral color. Oh. <laughs> um. I like the way it looks. I just watched, um, National Lampoon's Family Vacation and Cindy Lauper is in it. She has like really pretty bronzed skin. And I thought I was just kind of looking at her makeup in the in the movie. So that's that. And then um Next is, oh, I forgot my eye primer, um, but it's okay because it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to last a long time because I'm doing it at night. Um, I got the CoverGirl Clean Color in the color Dreamy Pink, which looks like this. And I like these um, ones. I got it. I already got another one. Um, but I like the way these colors look. I like the neutral. And so what she did, this is Kelly Strack, what she did. She took a fluffy brush and she got the 
the second color here and she put it all over the crease which is a matte um so i'm gonna try out her look so it just looks different on me like on her it looked really pink but on me it's like kind of looking dark but i don't hate it it like that and then um she took the darker matte one this one and she put it on the outer lid so I'm going to use this brush it's like kind of packed dense small and put it on the outer lid right here And then just kind of blend it in. It's not a hard look to do. So right at the corner. And then just kind of blending it up into the crease. And then she took this shimmery shade right here. And she used her finger she it's like a gold she put it on the lid it's really shimmery and pretty It looks like a rose gold. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, then um, she, I forget the order which she did things in, but then um, I have written it down. Let me see. She took the lightest shade and she put it in the inner corner and under the brow so I don't really have a brush for that but you can just use your um, pinky so this shade she used um, in the inner She put it also on under her eyebrow, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't know if that looks good to do that. I'll try a little bit. But. Then, um, she mixed the two matte shadows and she put it on her lower lash line. So the two middle ones. So these ones, she mixed them, she put them on the lower. And next, I'm going to chrome, oh no, I got um, the L'Oreal Infallible Grip Precision Felt um, Liquid Liner in the color brown. So I'm going to try, oops, <laughs> I got it all over my fingers. <laughs> I'm going to try this out. what it looks 
just laying it horizontally like against my lashes. Kind of flick it. It's been a while since I had a brown liquid liner. I think it like suits my my coloring better than black. I messed it up. Do it. It's been a while since I've done eyeliner, I feel like. <laughs> I'm like really messing it up now. I think I might skip this next time. So I don't know if I'm going to wear this tomorrow. This liquid liner, I don't know if I like it. Um, now curl my lashes. And I like the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Mascara in Waterproof. Looks like that. It's got like black and gold packaging. And for lipstick, I got um, the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the color Fresh Papaya. I thought this would be a pretty color. Kind of matches my cheeks. Uh, it smells like papaya too. It smells really good. And it feels good on the, on the lips. So that's my finished look. <laughs> I hope you like it and I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.